Hey guys, so I have something really weird for you guys today. I have a Valentine's Day tutorial. Um, I got asked a lot about the makeup I was wearing in my Favorites of 2010 video. I'll link it right here. Um, it's just a pink smoky eye, and I got asked a lot to do a Valentine's Day look, and I thought it'd be perfect for Valentine's Day because, you know, what's more appropriate than a pink smoky eye since everyone wears, like, pink eye makeup or a smoky eye anyways. But anyways, it's really simple, it's really easy, um, and doesn't use a whole lot of colors, so I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys later. So I've already primed my lid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, comes into like this. I prefer this personally to UDPP because it's just easier to use. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my highlight. So just take a flat shader brush and load it up with product. And put this right underneath my brow bone. By the way, this color is rice paper. So I'm going to go about halfway down my lid. Bring it to the inner corner right here. So next I'm going to go in with the 217 brush and just swish. And make sure you really load it up on this color. And you're going to put this right where your eye naturally goes in, like right here. So that's like a little bit above my natural crease. going to take any kind of black base. I'm just going to use the Milani liquify pencil. And you're going to want to put on a moderately thick layer. Um, depending on how big your eye is, like if you have significantly bigger eyes than me, I wouldn't put it on quite that thick. I'm just going to take your finger and blend it out. So next we're going to do is you're going to take any black shadow, I'm just using Black Tide, dipping my 219 in. Just any small brush, you can load a lot of color on. I'm going to, I'm going to apply this near my lash line. Okay, I can't. And you're going to want to concentrate all the black at your lash line and then slowly make it have a gradient up into the swish. You don't need to use black tide, you can use just any black, but this is like the blackest black I have right now. Right now I'm just taking a 222, so you're just going to take any blending brush that you have. I'm just going to blend out that line a little bit on its own first. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my brush lightly into the black tide, knock off the excess, pat it at my lash line, and then use this to slowly help it blend up. Now, like I said, if you have significantly bigger eyes than me, I wouldn't recommend this um, to go quite as high as I'm going. Just going to want to take your time, be patient. So you're just going to keep blending it up into the swish until you have a nice gradient and it's as dark as you'd like. You want to keep first starting off by patting it into the bottom and then slowly blending it up so that way nice and soft and there's no harsh edges. Then you can even take your 217 brush and go back. I don't apply any more swish, but just use it to go back and soften up any edges. Okay, so next I'm just going to take a Q-tip that has makeup remover on it underneath and clean it up. Um, you know, clean up any fallout that might have happened. Especially with smoky looks, you tend to have a lot of fallout. And so I haven't put on any under eye concealer. As you can tell, I haven't been sleeping very well lately. I think I got like three hours of sleep every day for the past week. Because I've just had like midterm and midterm after midterm and paper after paper. Then I'm going to go apply some under eye concealer and powder.
Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna curl your lashes. Next you're gonna apply mascara. I'm just gonna use Lancome's Hypnose. Oh, and you can also apply an inner tear duct color, which I just decided to do. I'm just gonna use Vanilla, Vanilla Pigment by MAC. Dip the other end of the Q-tip into it. And then just put it in this tear duct right here. So next we're gonna put on some lashes. I'm just gonna use the Sonia Kashuk ones I have. And do a dark tone lash glow. And that's it, that's the finished look. So on my cheeks, I'm wearing Shiseido's Innocent Rose. This blush is actually discontinued now. You can't get it anymore, um, but this is one of my favorite holy grail blushes. It's like the only makeup product I ever bought numerous backups of because I was so afraid to ever live without it. But it's just the prettiest, softest baby pink. I haven't quite found a dupe for it yet, but just any pink soft blush would do. You don't want like a really loud cheek and lip since the eye makeup's pretty loud by itself. And then on my lips, I have NARS Turkish Delight. This is like a cult favorite lip gloss. It's just a strawberry milky baby pink. And that's it. So I hope you guys have a really Really nice Valentine's Day and I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and I'll talk to you guys later. All I have on my so all I have on my cheeks cheeks <laughs> all I have on my cheeks are Sasados and it's all I have on my cheeks. <laughs>